Okay, let's talk about TurboTax and what it looks like when you start using it and kind of go through the process of how to start filing a tax return. So the first time you open it, you'll see this screen here and it's prompting you to register. This is optional, so if you don't want to enter that information, you can just click continue and then say yes. And this is the main TurboTax screen. So this allows you to begin a new tax return or if you had started completing one online, you can click continue from TurboTax online and that will import all your information from the online version. Uh, there are some other options here, but for most of you, you'll be starting with begin, which will allow you to begin a new return. Now, if you have the home and business version of TurboTax, it will also allow you to prepare W-2s and 1099s for employees and contractors. But for most people, you'll click start a new individual tax return and click continue and then it will start the process of creating a new return. Now if you've used TurboTax previously, TurboTax will start scanning your computer and trying to find the return that you filed last year. And for me it found it here, and so if it finds your old return, you can click transfer return, and that will bring in all the information from last year's return, which will save you a lot of time entering in things like your name, address, uh, social security numbers, and things like that. So I'll click transfer return. If you don't see that, then you would just click on continue without transferring and you'll be able to start a new return from scratch. So let's go ahead and go on that with that option so you can see what that would look like. And that gives you this screen, getting started with TurboTax. And this is what most of TurboTax looks like from this point on. It will give you some kind of prompt or information here and then you'll click continue. So it's asking me to enter a name. So I'll just use uh, Bob as a, a temporary name here. Um, first name, Bob, okay? And then what do you do for a living? They need to know your occupation. So type in your occupation, whatever you happen to be, and then whether or not you served in the armed forces in 2022. So this is how TurboTax works. It just asks you questions as you go, and you simply answer the questions and then click continue. And you keep going through and uh, once you finish, <clears throat> you'll get to the very end after you ask, answering all these questions and it will get to these different tabs here. And eventually you'll get to the file tab which will allow you to actually file the return with the IRS. Um, was Alaska your state of residency? No. Choose your state of residency. So I'll just pick one, whatever. Um, I would pick my actual state of residency if I was filling this out for real. Did I live in another state? And so on. So it asks you different things like this. Um, 1, 1975 or 76 or, or whatever the case may be. <clears throat> and it's pretty simple. Can anyone else claim you as a dependent on their tax return? No. And then were you legally blind or would you like to change the language the IRS uses? Any of these? Most of you will click none of the above, but just answer the questions. Are you single, married, divorced, legally separated, or widowed? Do you want to file this return together with your spouse? For those of you who are married, yes or no, and so on. Enter your spouse's name. Um, I'll put uh, Sue. And then we just keep going. Occupation. Did Sue serve in the armed forces? Was Sue's was Alabama Sue's state of residence as well? Yes. And did Sue live in another state? No. And so on. Enter Sue's birth date, whatever it is. And make sure you use the real numbers here. This is going to the IRS, so it has to be the real stuff. Um, so we'll put those in there. Can anyone else claim Sue as a dependent on their return? For example, Sue's parents or something like that. And answer yes or no. Did any of these apply to Sue? answer yes or no and then you just keep going through the process of filling these out um, did either of you make money in other states no we did not if you did then you would answer yes and it will prompt you appropriately to make sure it has all the information you need do you have any children and if you do you would click yes and then it will go ahead and prompt you for that information now if you ever want to go back in the process let's say you made a mistake or something you can always click the back button and go back to all of the previous questions and it keeps them filled in for you, but you can change those responses if you need to. Um, so when I go back to <clears throat> um, these different questions, uh, let's see, did you support a child or another person? Yes, I supported my child. And then it will start prompting for that. So it just keeps going through. 
one thing I wanted to point out though is as you as you go through this sometimes you'll see these links here and when you click on that it will give you some extra information about what that means so that will help you quite a bit if you have any questions as you go through and you can also click on see more help and it will bring up a help center and a TurboTax community and I use this quite often so the TurboTax community is where people can ask questions and receive answers back and you can see all those questions and answers so sometimes you might have a question that someone else has already asked and if you click on TurboTax community you'll often find those answers so that's a great help as well so I'll click continue here for some of these just so you can see what it looks like um, and then we'll just keep answering the questions now as you go you can also access these things through this menu up here you can click on different parts of the um, tax return so you can skip ahead or skip back I recommend just going through it step by step just like this and then once you get to the end of this section you'll be able to go back and edit the different information as you go through there so I'll show you what that looks like here in just a second Okay, so now we're at the screen I wanted to show you. So after I finished entering in the information for myself, for my spouse, and for my dependents, and by the way, these are false names and false social security numbers and everything, so this is, this is all fictional right now um, for purposes of this demonstration. But once I get it done entering that information <clears throat> on this personal tab, it gives me the personal summary. And I can go through and just edit any one of these if I had accidentally made a mistake on one of them. For example, if I wanted to change my state of residence here, maybe I made a mistake and I meant to put uh, Alabama instead of um, Alaska, for instance, then I can go through and edit it right there <clears throat> and go through the same questions and they edited that for me. Um, I added some dependents. Let's say that I forgot to add a child. I can go through here and add another dependent. It could be a child or another person that lives with you or something like that and you just go through, add their name, and answer the questions. So this makes it pretty easy to go through. Um, if you accidentally add someone but you didn't quite finish, you can even delete that extra person. And so it's very, very uh, simple to use with lots of power to make changes and things like that. Um, so this is the home and business version. So the next step would be to go through the business deductions. So if you're not using the home and business version, then you won't have this tab and it will go straight to personal and this will go through and it will ask you questions about your personal income now if you you're a more advanced user and you've used TurboTax before or you kinda know what you're doing um, as far as filing your taxes you can click I'll choose what to work on here or you can choose walk me through everything and it will go through a lot of different questions to help make sure that it's asking you about all of your income sources and getting you the best possible refund you can get so it will go ahead and work on Bob's W-2 here. We'll go through and then you'll get your W-2 form and just start adding the information from your W-2 form starting with box B and so on and you just keep going through and another thing it allows you to do is upload a PDF or a picture of your W-2 form and then it will fill it out for you so that makes it really easy or you can type it in yourself so there's all of that stuff um, you'll go through lots of different personal income I'll show you what this section now looks like. So this is what you'll get to at the end of the personal income section. And it allows you to go through and talk about your wages and salaries, any unemployment benefits, interest, dividends, things like that, um, investment income, any retirement stuff, uh, other types of income that you might have received. So there's a lot of things on here, but it will walk you through. And as it asks you the questions, it will skip over the things that that uh, you don't need to do based on the questions. Um, then there's another section for deductions and credits and it's similar. You can choose walk me through everything or you can choose the exact things that you want to work on. But it will walk you through each of these potential credits and deductions and ask you about all of that information. And then it will go through some other tax situations that you may have to do like the alternative minimum tax to make sure that you do or don't have to pay that and some other things so it walks you through those step by step again and then when it gets to the end it will review the entire return and check for errors and then it does a smart check to see if there's any 
anything that is a high risk of being audited, for example, or if it finds any other errors with your return. And once that's finished, then you can go on and do the state tax return, and it will import all the information from the federal and then allow you to just work on the state return for your specific state. And then at the very end, it will review it one more time, and then the file tab is where you'll actually file the return. And you don't have to click on each of these tabs. Normally the process works by just clicking the continue button as you go through. So if you just keep doing that and answering the questions, you'll be finished before you know it. So this is a quick overview of TurboTax. There are a lot of other features. You can click on here and see lots of, you can go to any of the different parts of the tax return. You can click on forms. If you need to enter something special on a form, it shows you all the forms themselves. So you can edit those directly if you need to, which most people don't do that, but if you need that power, you can. Or you can go back to the step-by-step -step version of this. It will give you flags, meaning things that it found that might need to be looked at again. And then, um, let's see, there's a few other tools here you can look at, uh, but at the very end, after you file it, you can save it as a PDF file, which allows you to keep a copy for future use. And you don't need TurboTax to be able to access it. It's just a regular PDF file of your tax return. And if you want to, you could print this out and send it in by mail to the IRS. But usually electronic filing is the preferred method, and it's a lot faster to get your refund back. So that will allow you to file electronically when you get to the very end here. So if you have any questions or comments, feel free to post those in the comments below. And look down below this video and you'll see a link that shows you where you can find the different versions of TurboTax and compare the different features available with those versions and the prices for those. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.